and welcome back to the channel on this video as here I am right here I'm going to do a review after 18 months of the aerial rider grizzly right here and this is version 2 they're not a lot different between uh, version 2 and version 3 um, I'm going to tell you the uh, few differences that I know and if somebody else has uh, anything they want to add they can leave it in the comments that I might have missed that the newer version has compared to version 2 um, but basically the difference would be the headlight I believe they put a better headlight in there and that's uh, a plus because I'm not the biggest fan of the headlight if I'm looking at negatives on the bike and the other thing that I know of that they changed out was the um, the um, well, the controllers I changed out because they, um, I had a problem with those, but that's not what I was going to say. It was the battery chargers is what I wanted to say. They, when I got this bike, they gave me two 52 volt, um, uh, five amp controller or uh, five amp chargers. And now they only give you one and it's a four amp. So that is definitely a negative right there, but uh that shouldn't deter you from buying the bike though although it is nice to have two chargers because you can charge both batteries up at the same time so let's go over some of the specs so uh quickly so it's a thousand watt motor uh, in both uh their buffang motors in the uh front right there the front hub motor and then we've got the other back here in the rear and uh, those motors peak out at 1850 watt, 52 volt. And um, they truly do give you uh, quite the ride. Um, so there's that. And then the batteries we've got here, as you can see right there, the sticker. That is a 52 volt, 15 amp hour there. And then the other battery right up here that rides under the seat is a 52 volt 20 amp hour so that gives you a total of 35 amp hours and i believe that's the same as it is on the version 3. the uh, controllers are under the seat and i'll talk a little bit about the controllers here you can't really see them in there but there's two in there and they're 30 amp and i did have an issue um early on probably Oh, seven months maybe or eight months into uh, having the bike I had an issue with the controllers first one and then the other and uh, but aerial rider did replace uh, give me replacements uh, I mailed them back the uh, the original ones and they mailed me two new ones and all has been well since I haven't had no issues with the uh, controllers and I believe on the new version 3 they don't have any issues like that I haven't heard anybody complaining about controller issues with their bike so the two things i did to the bike that's different than the one you'd get um stock is i put a mirror on right here which we do need a mirror so i put a bar end mirror right there and the tires have been swapped out i i got about mm, 750 800 miles not a lot of miles on the stock tires before i had to swap them out I got a flat tire in the back and that pretty much told me because they were already getting near the end there that uh, go ahead and swap them out now and so I did and I went with these V Huntsman tires which you see right here and um, there you go right there and uh, these tires have been very good they're uh, all terrain you can you can ride these in any kind of conditions I've ridden them in snow and ice and I've uh, done a little bit of off-road and then definitely on the pavement most of my riding is on the street so uh, they've been uh, fine for me just recently I had to swap out the um, brake pads um, so that was done just very recently here because they um, were done for the back one especially was just about melted right down to nothing and uh, the new brake pads are really good I mean they don't even uh, you don't hear any noise coming from them when you put uh, apply the brake um, it does have a full suspension this bike and uh, 
it comes with the uh, front and rear fender and I've talked about this in the past I wish the fenders were longer they are plastic um, um, but they don't move around they're pretty they hold pretty tight sometimes I worry that they get they're a little flimsy and flop around but these ones are not bad just my complaint would be that they're too short um, uh, this seat would be another thing that I would complain a little bit. It's a little bit hard and a little bit short. It'd be nice to have a longer seat. You can get a longer one for it, but I never did. And now after riding it for the 18 months, having it this long, I'm finding, you know, more things that I would change up now. And I haven't done it, but I would prefer different handlebars. Um, you know, I used to think, they were pretty good but now after riding with BMX handlebars quite a bit I really like the BMX uh, bars I think I would prefer those over these um, uh, if you want to call these like uh, ape hangers almost like a chopper but other than that um, you can pedal this bike as well you can see right there it's a class two the sticker right there but of course you can unlock it and go 36 miles an hour uh the chain ring is 52 tooth is that right 52 i believe it's 52 i could be mistaken but anyway uh, i was going to get at the pedaling you definitely can pedal this bike so if anybody says you can't pedal that you definitely can and um yeah i've done it a fair bit but i also uh throttle more than i pedal to be honest with you and uh, what else can I tell you uh, like I said the seat is a bit of an issue but I should talk about the uh, hill climbing and where this bike really shines where I like it I like it for two things especially one of them is climbing hills I generally ride with the single motor so if you're going single motor mode you your switch is right here so on the left is single motor, the right is, like the left is uh, rear motor, I should say. The right is front motor, and then in the center you get all-wheel drive. And I generally keep it there on the rear motor, but for hill climbing, I go to the middle and have both engaged, and it just basically will throw you up that hill. It doesn't matter how steep it is. I haven't come across anything yet that the Grizzly will not tackle and uh, and accomplish and also I like to use the dual motor for accelerating quickly through intersections or if I have to get through some area quickly and I want to uh, go faster and have more power quick acceleration then I use both motors and but generally like I say I usually use uh, mostly the rear motor as there goes the surround behind me and the weight of this bike I wanted to mention it's 108 pounds and then with the new tires that I put on these uh, V Huntsman they uh, increased the weight by about four more pounds I'd say minimum so you're looking at about 112 pounds so if you're going from riding a let's say you have a Rad Rover and then you go to this bike something like the Rad Rover then to the Grizzly uh, you're looking at about uh, just about a 40 pound difference in uh, bike weight and so uh, I'm talking with the batteries so that's a significant amount so if you're not used to riding anything but the Rad Rover for example and you go to this one then you got to uh, uh, know that the weight's going to be there you're going to feel that difference but it's not bad though once you get rolling it's all good but uh, you feel solid you got a good solid bike there under you so uh, you know I, I never have any issues and with these tires I never worry about anything they seem to handle all of it I think it'd take an awful lot to uh, get a flat on these unless you get a nail in between the in between these squares here or the uh, I don't know if it if it would puncture it probably it could I suppose but I haven't had an issue yet anyway uh, so that's the aerial rider grizzly 
and that's looking at it after 18 months. I don't know how many miles I put on the bike, but I do know, like I say, that the tires were probably around 750 miles that I had the issue uh, with the tires getting very thin. They, they're not the greatest. The, the stock tires that come with the bike are definitely not that great. And um, that's going to be your first thing that's going to go. And your brake pads are going to go pretty quick. You might actually want to swap out the brake pads at the same time if you um, change up the tires. That might be a good time to do that. Uh, assuming that your bike gets about the same mileage as I did uh, on those tires. It's got a full suspension and you can adjust this to whatever you want. Um, but I... Uh, I like the, I've got the front fairly soft there, and the back is kind of half and half. Uh, you can make it as stiff or as soft as you want there. Um, but like I say with the bike, I haven't done an, an awful lot of off-roading. I'm mostly on-road. Um, so if you're off-roading, you probably want to adjust that accordingly. The other thing I should mention too that the new bike, uh, the version 3 has that this one didn't, is a choice of colors. I only could get the red at the time that I got this one, but now it comes in the uh, blue, yellow, or red, and every single color, I've seen, seen all of them, every single color is uh, stands out, like is nice. I, I don't have a problem with either one of those three colors. If I was picking one now, I would probably personally pick the yellow. I like the yellow and black look. But um, then saying that, my favorite color is blue. So, you know, why not pick the blue one? But that's good too. But uh, since I already have a red one, I would probably go different. But the display, I should mention too, is really nice. I like this display. It's, I like the way, if I had one thing to, um, change on the display i just wish it was a little bit bigger i guess but uh as far as the uh, look of it i really like it there you can see it there it is uh colored and you can change out some of this but i won't go through it all now but um yeah i just wish it was a little bit bigger but otherwise uh, that's really nice i like it i like the color display so that's a look at the grizzly and after 18 months, I still say this bike is very good. Um, I'd still give it two thumbs up. I like it. Um, uh, the price now, I should say, is currently, as I shoot this video, on sale for $30.99. Now, I paid $32.99. There was no money off. I didn't get five cents off. It was full price, but shipping was free. And... Uh, but the regular price, if you can't get it for that sale price that's on right now, the regular price is now $34.99. So it has gone up a couple of hundred dollars uh, on the price, but that's expected. You know, things never stay the same price. or usually don't. Usually you can look for price increases after a while. That's just uh, the way life is, unfortunately. But that's a look at the Aerial Rider Grizzly and my views and what I think of it after 18 months of riding. And that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you wanna be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.